I've got bodyguards for the cars here. Yeah. These cars are hugely protected. There are over 200 cars in these stores. What this used to be is just this space here, up until that first wall that you can see, that was the vault. And then they had so many more cars over the years that they have now opened up all the way down. So we're gonna show you some of the most incredible, most unique cars in the vault here at the Peterson Museum. Uh, let's start over here. Here in our Hollywood car section, most of these cars have been in, uh, in Hollywood movies or on TV. For example, this is a called the Zebra Mustang. This was used in a uh, Frank Sinatra movie called Marriage on the Rocks. Yep. Uh, the next car, 1966, this is a uh, Chrysler Imperial. This was used in the old uh, Green Hornet TV series. Green Hornet. Yeah, oh, you see okay. it's got yeah, all the yeah, rockets, yeah. the guns, all the good wow. stuff. Wow. So what you... This was, uh, this was actually from the cartoon series Speed Racer. Actually not really used in a movie per se. Right. But uh, this is a replica of what that car looked like. Ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, and of course this is from uh, Austin Powers. Ah, oh, amazing. It's crazy to think, you know, when you look at these cars, all these, all of these incredible movie stars have actually sat behind the wheel oh, yeah. of these cars yeah, that we're looking. Well, this is from the movie Grease. Oh, Grease! No yeah, way! I recognize that. Ah, yes. Well, it does say Grease on the side, so... It does say Grease on the side. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a giveaway, kind of giveaway that I didn't see. The, the thing with these cars down here, what do they need to be? Either super rare or someone special has owned them or what's the deal with the vault? Well, we have five, six criteria. Uh, very rare is a big one. If it had a, a provenance, which means somebody famous owned it. Yep. If it has a race history, okay. we'll use a race history. If it has something unique as far as technology goes, okay. especially if something was invented here in Southern California. Oh, okay. And so those are kind of the criteria we use what, to... Uh, what um, stands out when you say unique technology? Because that's quite interesting. Is there one car here that really stands out for you? Uh, well, you know, there's a lot of them actually. Yeah. Uh, for example, the, the Davis over there, the green car. Yeah. Um, that, or even this yellow car. This yeah. is a Kaiser Derrick, mm -hmm. 1954. This was the first all fiberglass car oh. built in the United States. Very unique because it has these sliding doors. Oh, this is something that has never been done before or since. Oh, or right. Yeah, so, so the door kind of slides yeah. open. Yeah, it just slides right so in. It hides yeah. in here. Wow. wow. Okay, yeah, that's really cool. And well, and then this one, you were saying something else. Oh, this on is the a, a Davis Devan, yeah. 1948. Look this was front, built yeah. after World War II. This was supposed to incorporate all the latest technologies from World War II. Oh, wow. uh, for example, that roof is a fiberglass removable roof. The fiberglass was still in its infancy. Right. And so that was very rare to see fiberglass. And of course, it's very aerodynamic. So yeah, a it's lot kind of, of an odd involved. shape here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's front. kind of an odd shape. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't very successful. We only built 13 of these cars. Right, okay. So, um, What's the most valuable car in You know, it's, it's really hard to say. It's hard to judge a value of a car, you know, until somebody shows up with a check. Right? Mm, yeah. I mean, like, what is this car worth? I mean, until somebody wants to buy it, yeah. you really don't know. Yeah. Now, you're going uh, to see the round door rolls. Uh, that, is, that is probably a very rare car. The most expensive car that I'm aware of that we have a really good feel for is probably the 1957 Jaguar XKSS, okay. which was owned by Steve McQueen. Oh, yes, okay. Um, one of 16 that were built. Uh, it's a version of the uh, uh, Jaguar uh, D-type racing cars. This could be one of the most expensive cars in the entire museum. I've seen reports of it being worth 30 to 40 million, but again, nobody wow. really knows. So this is the first Ferrari ever built we're standing next to it right now. That's pretty special. This is a 125S. Uh, two of them were built. They raced them for a few years, and then they eventually converted them to 166Ss, and they raced them, and then they sold them off. And nothing's been changed. I mean, this is all original. Well, when it was converted to a 166, they changed the body. Okay. Uh, when this was recently restored, they went back to the original body. Right. Even though that's not the original body, it's the original shape. Original shape, So it's yeah, a replica, yeah. but everything underneath is, is uh, the original. The original. It's a one and a half liter V12. But just imagine what someone would pay for that. Yeah, I mean, you don't know. You don't know, it right? It could be 
more than a Ferrari 250 GTO. Yeah, we, could we don't be anything. Really know. This car, I believe, is on loan to the museum, mm -hmm. so we don't own this car. Right. So some of the cars in here belong to the museum, and yeah. a lot of others are kind of switched about, in and out. About half of the ones you're going to see here in the vault belong to the museum. Okay. The other ones are on loan, sometimes very, very long-term loan. What I find super interesting is that when you bought a Rolls-Royce back in the day, you didn't buy the body. You actually just bought the engine and the chassis, and then you took it to your own body uh, builder and you can design what you wanted the car to look like. So that's why this Rolls looks like no other Rolls on the road today. And it's incredible, I've never seen anything like it. 1925 Rolls Royce uh, Phantom One. Phantom One. But it was modified in 1934 yep. with this new body on it wow. in, uh, in Belgium. How many of them are in One. Only it's one just one. Built. This is a Pope-mobile, but he never actually drove in this car because there's no protection for him, there's no roof. But he did officially bless this car, so it is an official Pope-mobile, so that's pretty cool. This car has a very interesting story. Um, this is the car that Saddam Hussein was driven out of Baghdad in. So it's quite incredible the kind of collection that they have here, such diverse stories and backgrounds. Um, this one down here, also this Rolls. This is the very last car that Bobby Kennedy was uh, in before his assassination. This very car right in front of us. It's really incredible, this museum. I've never seen anything like it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give us a quick thumbs up, spread the word, leave us a comment. What car was your favorite? What was intriguing? Big, big thanks to Michelin, of course, for giving us access to the vault. It's been incredible. Thank you guys so, so much. And to the Peterson Museum, of course, as well. Um, we're gonna see you on the next vid, somewhere else in the world. For now, I'm out. Love ya. I just walked outside the museum. This is their newest arrival. It has literally just been brought in. Um, it's a movie vehicle. If anyone knows what movie this is from, leave a comment below.